Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss about Kubernetes release binaries. We talked about the Kubernetes software releases and versions in one of the earlier lectures. With every software version, Kubernetes builds and releases the binaries and packages for different operating systems. Start with the releases page on the Kubernetes GitHub repository. That takes you to the latest release page. With each release, you have a set of assets. The entire source code as a zip, as well as the primary release file, which is the kubernetes.tar.gz file. Download the latest release to your system. Extract it. You will find several directories within it. The server and client directories contain the server and client related binaries. However, they're empty for now. You must run a script that will download the appropriate binaries for your operating system. Run the cluster get cube binaries command. This downloads the appropriate cube control client and server binaries into their respective folders. The client is automatically extracted and placed in the client's directory. The server's directory has all the Kubernetes master and control plane binaries. The binaries for kubeadm, kube scheduler, API server, controller manager, kube proxy, kubelet, etc. These can be executed directly or configured as services on the Linux system. Depending on our setup, we may or may not use these. For example, if you're using kubeadm to set up the cluster, then most of these are not necessary. If you plan to set up the cluster IP from scratch by yourself, then of course these are necessary. Well, to view the release notes, visit the Kubernetes documentation page and look at the release notes under the downloading Kubernetes section. This page also provides direct links to download binaries, as well as a section for external dependencies, such as the etcd server or CodeDNS server. During the demos, we will download the release binaries to our demo environment.